My goal for you today is to walk away as confident as possible to change your own oil in your Bronco. And not only can you change your own oil, you could help your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever it may be, change their oil with confidence. We're all about building confidence in the garage. I'm gonna show you the highest quality oil. I'm gonna show you what filter so you can skip the guy that asked you for help at O'Reilly's or AutoZone and head straight to what you need to get. You can get the proper tools, the minimum you need in case you don't wanna invest in a bunch of tools, you can get the bare minimum. I'll have links in the description. And there's one tool in the middle of this process that I wanna show you that makes things a little less messier. A lot of people don't know about it and it's really cheap and kind of cool. So I'll leave that link in the description and then look out for that later in the episode. Let's get into changing on oil. Very simple, but there's a lot of people out there who have never done it yourself and you're thinking about doing it because you want to just make sure it's done right. You like to tinker on things like me and you just have one of those dads that's like, you change your own oil, son. No matter what, you will pay nobody do anything. That's my dad, but he doesn't say that. He just does everything himself. Let's get into it. Let's talk about oil first. This is Motul Oil. If you've never seen the logo, it's not really sold in major stores yet, but it's the best oil you can get. It's to Ford specifications, and the Motul team are just great people, and they are working on bringing their products to more stores near you. But this has been used in motorsports in other countries, in Europe and such. This is not an American company, so it's not over here quite yet, but this is the 5W30 weight. Best stuff you can get. Every single person that has a high horsepower engine that needs the most high performance oil Oil to make their engine last as long as possible is using Motul when you get deep into the industry. So I can tell you from someone who's obsessed that lives a car lifestyle, you need to run Motul oil. I have links in the description for two options that I'll have explained down below. You can pick where you want to order it from, depending on your situation and the quantities you order. And both of them are going to help you save some money in the process. So 5W30 8100 Eco Energy Ford specifications. It's literally the same as Ford Motorcraft. So this is a little bit better option. And how many of these do you need by chance? Six quarts. You can get a five quart, a big jug, and then one of these, and you should be good. Let's talk about our oil filter. You wanna run the Ford Motorcraft? Just the purest thing to do. You can go get them at O'Reilly Auto Parts, my favorite store. FL400S, screenshot that. You're not gonna need the guy's help. This could be a socket, but I have a little zippy Milwaukee gun with a 15 millimeter. If you wanna go as cheap as possible, you just do a basic socket and ratchet. I have links in the description if you're new to tools, if you wanna buy some stuff on Amazon. I have things ready depending upon your situation, apartment, house, whatever it may be. I'm gonna put this back on my gun so it's faster. You're also probably gonna to wanna to use a wrench, 15 millimeter. You don't have to. You could use this in your in your socket. Like this is actually completely unnecessary unless you're using this. Basically these things do the same things, but this has more leverage because it's longer. So I'm gonna use this because it's just comfortable and you'll see in the process. So you're also gonna want a universal oil filter wrench. This will help you a ton in the process. Don't forget a funnel linked in the description. We're also gonna use a pan to collect the oil and two jack stands and a jack. I don't think that these are absolutely necessary though because depending on how high your Bronco is, you probably can just slide under the car. I'm gonna give us as much room as possible for filming. So I'm gonna use two jack stands and a jack. Let me, let me just test for you actually. Get my creeper. I mean, you've gotta get a skid plate out and then to the drain bolt. Depending on your driveway setup and how high your Bronco is, you might be able to get away without using a jack stand or a jack, so keep that in mind. an arrow right here for like a jack safety safety always use jack stands to be safe I put a little bit of weight on each jack stand but this is still holding most of it but if this gives out we still have those to protect us before you even go under there to drain the oil you have to do something else first take your oil cap off so that air can travel through the engine and let all the oil out and there's no like suction from the top holding any oil in. You want to have a hole on the top and the bottom when it all drains out. Because this is an off-road vehicle, we have a skid plate protecting the oil pan where the drain bolt is, so we got to get that off. Four bolts, 15 millimeter. 
very obvious where they are. The other one's over here. Wait, there's five bolts. Six? This is different than the video I watched. We made it under. We have the oil pan exposed right here. There's our drain bolt. Now I can easily fit my 15 millimeter socket and ratchet or a wrench on. Oh, that came loose pretty easy. Need to get our drain plug and my fancy tool I told you about. I'm gonna crack it loose. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way. Then I take this fancy tool that has a magnet on it and it goes around any bolt and you twist it by hand. It takes the bolt off with no mess. I hope this doesn't splash. You will not get a flow this good unless you have that oil cap off at the top of the engine. While this is doing this, I'm gonna go get a rag. Make sure you stay here. I got my rag by the way. And move this as needed because you don't want to walk away for too long and can dribble out and get on your floor. Go ahead and adjust this. So one thing we can do if we want, look at our drain bolt and check for metal shavings. If there's metal shavings on here, don't freak out. As long as there's not a lot, you're all right. But this thing is perfectly clean, brand new engine, we're ready to rock. I don't see this on all drain bolts, but there's actually a rubber O-ring. Helps it seal better. You don't have any dripping in your driveway or anything, and you don't have to snug it up crazy tight to get it not to leak. I don't see this very often. This is a very new car compared to what I'm used to. So this is cool to see that there's a little rubber seal there that helps oil from dripping out. And if you're new and you're wondering, why would you let oil drip out of the drain bolt? Well, if you over tighten the oil pan if you're completely new to working on cars and you strip that bolt you are in a world of hurt especially if you don't know what you're doing so you always want to err on the side of too loose then too tight but never loose never over tight so you just kind of got to find that sweet spot and sometimes you're messing with a certain car it might have a little bit of dirt and grime you snug it up and the next three days later it's dripping oil and you're like what the heck i had it on there tight either there's some grime doesn't have a good seal or it doesn't have a factory washer on there like a copper one usually or something to keep it from leaking so when you see one with the rubber, that's exciting. There's oil just drizzling out. I'm gonna go ahead and thread in by hand. The bolt, take my rag, wipe off this oil, any residue on there, something. I want that to be a clean seal. Get my wrench on there. Snug, my friends. That is snug. Now we're on to the messy part. We're gonna need the oil filter wrench, get that on deck, but I wanna show you around. So I'm gonna head up in here. There's the driver front wheel, and then up in here. Then I just focus on that white filter. That's the oil filter. It's got a little slide, a little trough for the oil to come out, and it ends out right here. So oil is gonna drip out here. We wanna have the oil catcher ready to go. And we're gonna stick that wrench up in there and get that filter out and put the new one in. Not the easiest one ever, or convenient but we'll get it done. Because we have some droop going on, or if you have a lift, if you pop inside the fender well, you can actually see the filter right there. It's accessible. I can reach my hand in here and touch it. Probably gonna take that one out from the bottom and then put the new one in with my hand through the fender well. That seems like it's gonna be the easiest thing to do. Empty out the filter. Let's set this in here and get it out later. This is actually not terrible because this is draining into the catcher. Awesome. Now we can get the new one and put it in. Something that you wanna do is put some oil around the seal and make sure the seal came off the old one. Sometimes the seal can get stuck to the engine. Not the case normally these days, but you wanna make sure that this black O-ring came off the old one and there's a new one on the new one and you oil the new one and then we're gonna screw it on. My hands all nice and clean so I can get some grip on this. Going hand tight, as tight as your hand can go. Make sure you get it. We're ready to put oil in, but I want to clean up some of this mess down here. Ain't 
Anywhere you can wipe up oil in the process, the better. So that once you do put oil in it, start it, let it run for a bit. If there's any leaks, you'll be able to know right away and you're not guessing, was that the most from earlier? Or? We're getting ready to put some oil in. Get our funnel ready to go. Something cool about Motul is the lids. Pull this little lever and you pull it up. Kind of like a slinky or something. And you pull this cap out and you have a little straw. So if you didn't have a funnel, it wouldn't be the end of the world. This is actually a small motor that takes a little of oil. Remember how we put the oil filter in and it was empty? We need to get that full and then we'll check the oil level. Only way to fill that oil filter is by letting the engine run. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it level on the ground, start it, let it run for a bit, let it fill up, and then we'll check the oil. The little chute for oil, the slide for the filter oil so it doesn't get all over the frame. It's kind of a bummer because you just have a bunch of oil that just sits in there and then it drips out over time. Look at that, that's from about an hour of sitting here. car sit for a minute or two clean off the dipstick and just like that we have the perfect amount of oil right up to the second hole that is the full line and that is a job complete almost we need to put back the skid plate make sure there's no oil leaking and we're good to go Sprayed some carb cleaner up in that little trough so hopefully all the oil stops dripping. I don't want that to end up on my driveway. Oil change is done, but you need to clean up your mess and you have some oil. What do you do with this? AutoZone O'Reilly's, you can actually take it to them and they dispose of it. They actually get paid by someone to come suck it out of their tanks in the back of their stores. So take your oil there, they'll dispose of it properly. That's the easiest way to go about it. If you want to purchase an oil change kit, I have it linked down below from Panda Motor Works, the affiliate link or the link to Motul. If you're going to order a larger quantity or for a different car, you can order anything from the Shop Motul website. And in the description, I have all the information and links down below. That affiliate link would be huge. Probably be a dollar or two I'd get from the affiliate. So if I have a bunch of you guys, maybe we can help towards putting make more awesome videos and in the meantime if you haven't checked out us installing the panda power module to make this bronco faster go check it out it's a good mod it doesn't void the warranty and you'll really really like it it's friendly for any bronco owner who wants to make it a little bit faster